Vienna, 1785. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart has relocated to the city and is working as a freelance musician after a quarrel with his former employer, Archbishop Colorado of Salzburg. A composer and keyboard virtuoso of unparalleled ability, Mozart will remain in Vienna until his death. On this episode of ASO, Behind the Curtain, principal guest conductor Donald Runnicles and pianist Jonathan Biss join the ASO for one of Mozart's most astonishing works, the Piano Concerto No. 20. This music is almost unrelentingly turbulent. It is one of only two Mozart piano concertos out of 27 that he wrote that he chose to write in a minor key, D minor. And like many of his other D minor works, it's highly dramatic and brooding. Uh, he establishes an anxious mood right at the start. The piece begins quietly with fretful sounding syncopations in the strings. quickly gathers into a stormy outburst. Mozart was both the conductor and the soloist at the premiere of this piece. He seems to have finished it quickly because according to his father, who was visiting him, the copyist was still preparing the musical parts shortly before the performance. In fact, uh, Mozart hadn't even had time to play through the last movement because he was supervising the copying operation. So clearly he was quite inspired in the writing of this piece. Mozart was still at the height of his popularity in Vienna. He hadn't yet entered the period of illness and financial difficulty that would lead to his death just six years later at the young age of 35. But listening to this worrisome piece, it's hard not to wonder if he had premonitions of darker times to come. <laughs> 